Hey guys, it's Sylvia, Beauty Junkie A24, and I'm coming to you today because it is Tuesday, my weigh-in day. Um, let's see here. I will start with numbers. Um, my start weight for anybody who's new to my videos was 243.8. Um, day of surgery, this is a correction because I had been posting that it was 200, and day of surgery it was actually 209. Um, I saw my file um, today when I went to my two week checkup and that was the weight that was posted there. So I'm going to go with that because that's what's in my charts and everything. Uh, last week I weighed in at 187.0. This week I weighed in at 183.7, which is a 3.3 pound loss. So I am so happy about that. I know you guys that watched my video last week saw that I was, you know, kind of frustrated um, with the fact that I had a gain and um, I'm working so hard. So um, that definitely made me feel good. So thank you to everybody who was encouraging me last week and saying, you know, a big gain or a big loss is coming and it did. So thank you guys. Um, so my total since surgery is now officially 25.3 pounds. Um, and my grand total of all my weight loss so far is 60.1 pounds, which is so awesome. So awesome. I, I feel amazing. Um, I'll get more into that, um, as the rest of the video goes on. So, uh, quickly I'll let you guys know, I had my two-week appointment, or my, I'm sorry, my six-week checkup today, which means that I am bumped up to my level four, uh, which means I can have salads now, I can have raw veggies, um, you know, they told me to be careful and chew everything really well and everything, um, but I'm happy to know that I can start trying to incorporate some of that into my diet. Uh, they also recommended that I nix the protein shakes completely out of my diet if I'm getting a good amount of protein. But, you know, I figure if they say we should be getting anywhere from 70 to 80, and on my own I can only get about 68 grams of protein, so when I add that shake in there, it bumps me up to another 12 grams of protein, because I only drink half of a protein shake every day, and brings me to right around 80, so... Um, between that and the fact that I try to, I'm trying to get a little bit more calories in before I was getting in, you know, closer to 700 every single day. And this last week I've tried to get between 800 and 900 and I have done that and I lost three pounds. So I think that that's my body's way of saying, maybe you need to be eating a little bit more, um, for as much as I'm moving and everything like that now. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to keep doing that. Um, Non-scale victories. I posted um, last week about my inches that I lost. And after that video, I was actually um, Laura's Thinspiration. Uh, she took a picture of herself in her little Michael Kors um, pea coat that she got from Costco. And so... Uh, when I went to Costco to do my grocery shopping, I saw them there, and I was like, hey, I'm going to pick one up, too. Um, and I was able to get a size medium. It is a little bit snug, but I can keep it buttoned. I can sit down. I can um, drive with it buttoned and sitting and everything. So um, it's a little snug, but I know that over the course of the winter, I'm going to grow into it or, yeah, I guess shrink into it <laughs> so it will be even more comfortable uh, but that was total non-scale victory I'm so excited that I was able to purchase a medium uh, and then I actually went to Old Navy to go and pick up a pair of pants for work and I was able to get into their black cropped um, work pants a size 14 now granted I have a short torso those are considered low slung pants to sit on the hip area um, and because of my shorter torso, naturally the lower things are going to come up higher. So it does sit a little bit closer to my natural waist. But hey, I am happy that I was able to get into a size 14 regardless of that. My six, size 16 um, jeans still fit really well 
and nice and snug. So um, I'm, I know I'm like right in between there. I guess I'm just gonna have to try stuff on. But it felt good to be able to get into a size 14. I haven't been comfortably in a size 14 since my 16th birthday party and actually I got into I think it was like a junior's 15 um for my 16th my sweet 16 and they were tight like I sh probably shouldn't have been wearing them I knew I shouldn't have been wearing them and I wore them anyway um because back then you couldn't even in juniors you you couldn't find anything larger than that that was the biggest size they had um so I squeezed my butt into them so really, honestly, I couldn't tell you when I fit into a size 14 comfortably before. So um, that's amazing. I mean, amazing. Um, so purchasing a couple of new items that did get me to go through my closet again, and I was able to get rid of a couple more garbage bags full of clothes. So I'm happy about that. Um, let's see here. As far as food goes, I have been doing fairly well. It's definitely getting a little bit harder to stay so regimented. I'm naturally a pretty much a control freak. So um, watching everything and putting everything in my fitness pill and, you know, I check what I'm doing in the morning and then I only eat that during the day. And, you know, I can't say only because I might have like, you know, a potato chip here or, you know, um, a piece of chocolate. I do log those in, um, but you know, that's, I'm pretty much staying on track. Sunday I did give myself a little bit of leeway and I bought the boys Cinnabons for breakfast and so I had a quarter of a Cinnabon for breakfast, which I actually couldn't even finish the whole thing, but having the rest of that half of the Cinnabon in my house was not good. I did go and I ate the other half for dessert that night. Again, I couldn't finish the whole thing, but I put the half on my plate and I tried to eat as much of that as I could because it was that good. Now, I understand that, um, you know, that is obviously part of the problem with me um, and that, you know, also you can't go through life completely depriving yourself of everything. Now, doing, you know, Having a quarter of it, that was a smart decision, and I should have just kept it at that. Having the other half there, you know, if that's my weakness, I need to know, and I do know now that somebody else is going to have to eat that, or I'm going to have to throw it away, because um, I definitely, uh, my willpower, you know, it was gone by the time the night came, and, you know, honestly, I feel like 98% of the time I'm A-OK, -okay and every once in a while you do gotta give in to those sweet little treats but I did kind of overindulge just a little bit so I'm recognizing that for sure um, Couch to 5k I uh, I just did um, week 6 day 2 today um, which was good I am loving it I actually felt so energized after that that I got on the elliptical and I put it on the hill climb and I did that for another 20 minutes so um, that was awesome I am doing um, a 5K. It's called Run Wild for a Child on November the 27th. And it's a 5K or 10K at San Francisco's Golden Gate Park. Um, it benefits the firefighter, San Francisco Firefighters Toys for Tots um, program. So I'm really excited about that. I actually got my, my cousin is going to do it with me. My mom, my aunt, we're all going to do it. Um, and I'll try to put a link here in the down bar so that if anybody in this area is interested, if you click on the link that I'll post there, they at the site, Rody and Company, will actually donate an extra $5 to the Toys for Tots program. So um, I am really excited about that, and I actually think that I will be able to run probably the whole thing if I keep this up, the whole thing. So I'm really excited about that. So anyways, guys, that's my week. I will talk to you guys soon. All right. Take care, everybody.